Hello there, Scorpios. Welcome back for another video. This video, Scorpio, is going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation uh, video, Scorpio. Because I feel your energy, Scorpio, and I, sometimes tarot cards just can't say what you really need to hear, Scorpio. So I decided to make this quick little video for you, Scorpio, because you were on my heart. Who really touched my heart, if you really want to know, is Rob. Rob Smiley, you know, because it's something to, when you see the masculines really just giving up, uh, especially water sign masculines here, because... You know, men are already taught not to display their emotions and show their emotions. We as feminines naturally do that because that's who we are. But when you hear a masculine say it, they just tired of it because, you know, like I always say, you know, hope deferred makes the heart sick. If you're constantly hearing readings talking about your person is coming back, your person coming back this, your person coming back this, Scorpio, you got an ace of cups, Scorpio, you got your ace of wands, Scorpio, you got your will of fortune, Scorpio, you got your king of wands, Scorpio, you got strength, Scorpio, you got devils, Scorpio, you got the fool, Scorpio, you got the two of cups, but ain't nobody knocking on your door and your phone ain't blowing up, then you like, what? What the hell is the use to hear tarot cards? So I, I just want you to understand and to know, and to all of you Scorpios, I love you and I totally understand. So this conversation is heart to heart, really is from one Scorpio to another Scorpio. I understand, really I do. So, you know, it's like this journey towards love seems to be such a difficult thing. Uh, but what I've learned and this is why I'm going to make this why I'm making this video is my approach now towards relationships seems to be working better for me. And maybe it could help you too, Scorpio. But if you're if you're desiring an ex to come back, I feel like the same method can apply to any situation. Because it's just like when you put a pot of water on the stove to boil and you know you have other things you could be preparing in the kitchen, but you want to make sure because you can't add the next ingredient until the water starts boiling. So you stand there and you watch that pot, that pot boil. And it seems like it never boils because you're watching it when you should be getting busy preparing in other things. But you put all of your focus onto one thing here. So it becomes a disappointment because you're not getting the uh, instant uh you know, response that you want, you're going to get it, but it's going to take some time because you're too focused, especially when you have other things that you can focus on that can hold your attention, especially if they're positive things. So that, that's, that's, that's applied, that applies to relationships as well, Scorpio, because if you, if you, if you meditate, me manifesting and you're meditating, you're praying, you're constantly connecting with your spirit guides. Let's say when you're alone, you're alone time and you just feel so lonely, you're desiring someone, whether it's a past person uh, or just a person, a person of substance in your life and you're longing for that person here, but it just seems like it's not happening here. And I do understand that the things that's going on in the world may, may affect those things and they may not. It only de uh, depends on what you are putting in there. What are you stirring in your pot? What are your ingredients you're adding to your outcome, Scorpio? For instance, Scorpio. Now, for myself, and I'm not tooting myself on the horn. I'm not trying to ever act like I'm all that. But catching the opposite sex has never been a problem for me. And I guess it's because, and it's never been from a place of arrogance or, or confidence. I've just never been into me like that. Like I thought I was all of that. But you know, I've always got attention. So, you know, as you get older, you, you, you start, you know, exploring, you start dating people. You realize, damn, I shouldn't even gave this dude the time of day. So you, your approach starts being different here. So, but at, as, as I begin to get older and I'm wiser now from the lessons, the harsh lessons I've had to learn pertaining to love and relationships then, I've already set my intentions because I've made it known. I've made it known to, to the one who's in control of everything. And the one really who is in control of everything is yourself. 
You know, we pray and we meditate, but at the same time, it's us. It, 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 have, it has everything to do with what you perceive. What are you believing to manifest for your own life? You know, n nothing is off limits. There, there is no such thing as untouchable. The only thing that can stop that is your lack of vision or your lack of really putting in the effort. And I say that because, look, I used to go out and take my trash can out. People stopping. I mean, now you may not get quality, but the quantity was always coming in. But sometimes when I am in uh, in a vibrant energy, not because everything is just A-OK -okay in my life, Scorpio, but because I understand I would rather be happy and see what's going to come my way than to focus on negative aspects of my life. Because we all have things in our life that we wish was different or better. But if I focus my attention on the thing that I can't do anything about, then that's going to bring my energy down. Now, I do focus on the things that I can do. And even if it's just adding a little energy to it here and there as I begin to complete those things. But I'm always going out. I'm always meeting new people. I expect to meet people. And, and the thing that helps me is that I've learned not to go into any type of relationship now with any type of expectation, Scorpio. Now, that's deep for a Scorpio because I used to feel like you get this, we go together. <laughs> you might as well put, I'll look, I don't give a damn if you put a ring on a now, a night. We, if you get this, we are officially Mr. and Mrs. That's how I thought. But I also had to grow up. So now that I'm more mature in my thinking and I've had some lessons to learn, I realized that I, I can have the most amazing time with someone without pressuring, trying to figure out the outcome. You know, it, it would suck to go out on every day thinking, damn, I want to see the one. I want to see my soulmate. I want to see my two of cups. I want to see going to be the king, the king of pentacles to me. I want to see going to give me the ten of cups. I want to see going to give me the ace of wands. You know, it, that, that's too much pressure on yourself. But when you go into relationships with no expectations, I'm not saying let your guards down, set your standards low. No, it's just taking, taking it for what it is, releasing your control issues, releasing your control issues like, in other words, well, I got to have it this way. If my man ain't this way, then look, no go. I know my work. And yeah, you know your work, but goddamn, the, the pickings is kind of slim out here, Scorpio. I guarantee you, if you can get a unperfect person, which we all are, that would beat being alone any day. So I guess the moral of what I'm trying to tell you, Scorpio, is you have every right to wait on your ex or someone who you love with, who you consider your soulmate, who you love enough to put in that energy to wait. But that's fine. You can wait for that person energetically, Scorpio, but stay busy being productive for Scorpio. Scorpio. If Scorpio does not look out for Scorpio, who will? You know, we always jump in hard first, man. We, we just we just put on blindfolds and we just jump in. But it's time out for that now. You know, it wouldn't even hurt to start having Queen of Swords approaches. You know, where, where, you, where you're really dealing with the facts of the matter in relationships. That way you won't waste their time and you won't allow them to waste your time, Scorpio. But I was out today, Scorpio, as I always am. And I was about to just spray my car off, you know, just get the, you know, the leaves and stuff off. And I met a very interesting guy there. And it was amazing because I started not to park right next to this car who I just seen turn in there, but I didn't feel like maneuvering. So I'm like, I'm just going to spray it down anyway, just get the dust off of it. So I got out and I went and I got the change and everything. So I guess the guy must have checked me out when I passed by. But when he got out, he got out talking. But his energy was all over the place, Scorpio. But I had learned because, you know, it's not every day you meet a man who openly just talks. This man told me his whole freaking life story. And we at the car wash. You know, most men don't open open up like that to, to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly of their life. But he was telling me everything about him. And he <laughs> and he was, I couldn't figure his energy out. Although I could tell what he was dealing with because he was a retired military person. So he hadn't calmed down yet. You know, he, this person was all over the place here, but I, I had to ask him. I said, what, what's your sign? 
And he said, oh, I'm a Leo. And I said, God damn. There go that Leo. But I instantly, Scorpio, became intrigued. Uh, but the, the, he ended up washing my car for me and we communicated. But, you know, it really wasn't much to it. He asked me for my number. I didn't give him my number. I gave him my email. And I told him that if he wanted to reach out to me, he got to reach out to me like that, Scorpio. But I'm saying, Scorpio, sometimes you have to go out there and put yourself out there, become available. Sometimes, you know, it's good to have companions just to have a good time. And it does not always have to be about sex. Anything that's going to keep you motivated, keep you alive. I'm not talking about getting... All right, Scorpio, I had to step away. I had someone at the door. But yes, Scorpio, that's what I'm realizing. And you know, an, another key thing that what that I, I, I have learned and realized is that the universe is such an amazing thing. This, this, this human experience is such an amazing thing and so precise that the universe will put something that you need into someone else that you're involved with and put what what they need into you, Scorpio. I'm telling you because this guy that I met at the car wash, this person's energy was so all over the place and I've never felt like this about anybody that I met and I ain't trying to say he all that, but I felt bad for him. I just felt sad. I actually wanted to reach out and hug that brother. <laughs> I'm like, I was like, girl, now I had to talk to myself, girl, what the hell wrong with you? Because I just felt so bad for this brother. This is, here, here you are. Telling your whole life business to a woman you don't even know. You're telling me every... I couldn't even get a word in. He wasn't trying to mack. You know, I, I didn't even know if he was interested in me for that matter. It's like he needed someone to really talk to. And so I didn't want to deprive him from, from that. Because I felt like I, I was set there in that time, in that moment for his reason. You know, to, to lift him up, to encourage him to calm his energy down or to do something because he was not the same when I pulled off. You hear me? I could see him relaxing because he was all over the place at first, you know, but that, but every once in a while I see that Leo smile come out. But other than that, he was straight king of swords and I'm like, damn, but it's amazing how, you know, we, we try to always take something out of relationships. When sometimes we meet people, Scorpio, just to give them things out of a relationship. Sometimes they don't have to be romantic relationships, just kindred spirits. You know, it's just like we're so trained that a vagina and a penis, that if they're anywhere in the vicinity close to each other, they're supposed to hook up. But sometimes you miss a beautiful friendship out of it, Scorpio. But I just want you Scorpios to be encouraged. Don't give up. You may have to change your uh, your approach towards love and relationships like take your heart and your emotions totally out of the equation don't go into any relationships or a dinner date a hookup anything like that with any type of expectation just go in there for the for the uh the fun of the moment for the companionship you know respectfully you know you enjoying this human being and, and you giving this person your best energy and vice versa and just enjoying the moments because we take simple things like conversations for granted, you know, because everybody's so sexed up. It ain't about the, the talks, the intimate conversations, the real talking conversations. It's about how you're going to fuck me in the bedroom. Is you going to lick it before you stick it in? You're going to stick it in, you know, and all that irrelevant shit that does not do anything for you. Because what, what if you can't use those things? Then what's going to sustain your relationship? So I feel like since we are here, in this horrible human experience, trying to figure out love, especially being a Scorpio with all these emotions to give, then maybe it's not about us getting the love. I feel like if you stop looking for love and expecting love, although you've set your intentions and go on, continue building yourself and helping and spreading your love and nurturing energy around as need to be Scorpio, you're going to look up and your person is coming to you. I'm telling you, that's how it works. Because I pulled his cars. Yeah, I did. I sure did because I got the motherfucking cars, Scorpio. Yes, I pulled his cars. I sure did. <laughs> Between me and you, Scorpio, I had to pull his cars. 
And it says he's my two of cups. Ain't that some shit? And my six of cups. But this person, this person may have some things going on. I put it like that. So I'm not tripping. You know, I met this guy. I feel like I did what I was supposed to do for him. Uh, you know, and, and, and I don't I don't really care if I don't ever see him again. I just feel like I made a very big impact on his life because he was like he wasn't from here, but he was trash and all the women here. And I'm like, hold on, you talking to a woman that's from here. Well, yeah, well, yeah, you're right. Well, not you. You're the first one I met. I'm like, well, goddamn, give me credit. Don't, you know, you, you're too busy focusing on everything negative. You know, this, this brother was, uh, that brother needed to motherfucking me nuts. Huh? I could tell he had a whole bunch of built-in energy that he needed to disperse. <laughs> I'm not saying this for me, but I can tell that's what he needed. This man done forgot how to be a man. He done forgot the comforts of a woman. Do you hear me, Scorpio? You know how your man uh, rough around the edges just need a good woman to pamper him up? And you know how sometimes us women become too hard because we've had to do it so hard so long for too long till we become hardened, till we get the right man to come in and balance us and take that load off so we can stay in our positions as the feminine? I'm saying I could tell he needed to release some stuff and I know he needs to release it. He needed a hug. He needs somebody to love him back to life is what I feel. And I feel like the majority of the world needs someone to love them back to life because most people are losing their hope. They're losing purpose. They're not investing in their purpose because they feel like if they're not with anyone, then what's the use? But it's so many things to love. It's so many things that you can do that can add some, some, some nurturing energy to yourself. And I'm telling you, if you don't have a significant other, pass it along. Help someone else who's low in energy, who's low in their emotions, who's hurting, because that's what we do best, Scorpio. We heal uh, abundantly through our love and our nurturing energy. So don't go to sleep on yourself, Scorpio. Sometimes you have to deny your own desires because when you do that in hopes of helping someone else, then the universe steps down and gives you some, something even more amazing that you don't even see coming, Scorpio. You got something amazing coming, Scorpio, that you don't even see coming, but you got to change your focus. You can't keep standing there watching that water boil. You got other things to tend with. It's so many things, there's so many gifts you have that you done put on the back burner because of this worldwide thing. It's so many things you need to, to dust the, um, wipe the dust off of and, and reignite it. Grow your passion back, Scorpio. Do something that's going to give you some type of fulfillment in your own life, Scorpio. Then you won't be so stuck on the love matters of life because it's more things in life than love and money. It, it is. Although I really can't think of too many things, but, but it really is, Scorpio. But Scorpio, that's all I want to tell y'all. I just want to tell y'all that, Scorpio. And I just want to tell Rob, 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 don't be sad. Rob, don't be sad. When you sad, you make me sad. Then I just feel so sad because I feel like, I don't know why I feel like I can't help. And I know that's not my job to help, but I just hate to hear when you're losing hope on something, especially when you're emotional. But I thank you guys so, so much. And I know your your day is coming, Rob. It is. Like I say, you just got to, you may have to, you may have to just G up, gangster hub. You know what I'm saying? Just, we don't love them hoes. You know, not, not hoes. But I'm just saying, sometimes you have to be like that in order be, to you meet the one. Because that's the only way you're going to shield your heart. Because there's so much trickery out here. That's all I'm saying. And I ain't mad at the girls who got options. Everyone should have options. So when you get lonely at night, you'll have someone to at least talk to, uh, hang out with. And to some of y'all, someone who you can make love to every once in a while, someone who you're not ready to commit with, let's just keep it real, your booty call. Sometimes you need to keep your booty call here or there. I'm just saying, until your, your guy do come, because you're single. So with say, uh, having said this, Scorpio, <laughs> about to make a mess, thank you so much, Scorpio. I love you guys so, so much. I am rooting for you because you indeed do have love coming. Scorpio, your love is on its way. It's going to happen when you least expect it, but you have to stay open to it. You don't have to pursue it. You don't have to pursue what's already yours, Scorpio. It's already written in the stars for you, darling. I love you, Scorpios. Please like my video. Leave me a comment, Scorpio. Uh, share my video. Subscribe to my channel, Scorpio. And I'll talk to you on the next video. 
Bye, Scorpio. Uh, can y'all hear me now? <laughs> Bye.